Hi there, welcome back. Uh, this is Jag Kakalapuri from the Modern Work Group. Recently, a customer of mine have actually asked me, how do I copy a SharePoint list? So what they've done is they have a multiple branch offices um, and they've created a, 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 a SharePoint list in one of the branch office team sites. Uh, and uh, now they wanted to, it's, it's got a lot of metadata associated with that list. So now they wanted to copy that list across into a different branch office. So let's learn how to copy this, uh, copy an existing SharePoint list uh, and its structure to a different site or a team. Now here you can actually see I've got a team site called Project X. So in this case, uh, I'm going to, you know, have an example of multiple projects, uh, you know, associated and an issue log associated with it, with it as well. So in my project site, I have my uh, Project X issue log here, as you can see. Um, and in this issue log, uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's capturing the uh, issues that are happening relevant to that area, uh, to relevant to that project. And here you can actually see I've created this uh, issue log. And here in the issue log, I'm actually tracking which location that particular issue has erased and all other stuff as well. So uh, we will look in a different video. Uh, we will look at you know how this location field actually works. Uh, it's it's quite intuitive. This is just a recent update that Microsoft actually launched as well. Uh, if you wanted to keep track of that video, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, Modern Work Group, and then uh, you know you, I'll, you'll you'll get notified when when that goes live. But in this video, let's look at how to copy this log uh, to a different project. In 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 my customer's case, you know it's a different branch office. So here I have my project Y. Um, so uh, again, a different branch office or a different team site in this case. All you have to do is just click on new and click select uh, the, the list option there and see how you've got from an existing list. And, and by default, it'll actually allow you to select a, an existing list within that site. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go and select an existing list from my uh, from one of my team from my one of my project sites in the, in this case it's called project x so i'm going to choose project x in this case and you can see it's automatically selected uh, showed in uh, the list of uh, the the sharepoint list in that case or it's a microsoft list as well right so and now you could select next and then you would give a project y issue log show in site navigation and click create and there you go uh, so it's now ca captured my issue log along with the the issue location field and 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 the other fields that are relevant to that site uh, to that list sorry so now let's actually look at how this same functionality works if you're actually using microsoft teams uh, essentially it just, it's just the same experience so in this case i have my um here project sites here you can see i've got project uh, ez and I've, so now let's go ahead and add a, a sharepoint or a microsoft list in this case to this project y from from the teams interface so when you go ahead and click on the plus tab in one of your channels go ahead and choose the the lists option here and and now click save in the first uh, screen there and now you can actually go ahead and create a new list or an add an existing list. So this is something to keep in mind. Uh, don't get confused by saying add an existing list. It doesn't mean that you're not actually copying an existing list and making a copy of that in this particular project Z uh, team site. Instead, what it does is if you use the selection, it goes and makes, uh, it goes and you know, embeds an existing list as is. It just points to that existing list essentially. So especially in this use case of we're creating different issue issue tracker logs for each branch office or each projects, that's not going to cut it. So what you have to do is you have to create a new list. So just select a create a new list. And in this case, now you can actually get presented back to that uh, previous experience of creating a new list in, in the SharePoint, it's something similar as well in this case. So you select from existing list. And in here, what we've done in the past, uh, we've selected, we just go to the project X again, and then you would just go and se select an existing list in that e project. Uh, and you would happy with this. Now I'm going to say this as a project Z and click create. 
and now based on the the existing issue list that we have in the pre uh, other site it's made a, a similar copy as well and you can actually see now uh, you have that issue location and and the same metadata schema copied across so that's uh, that's it on how you could actually copy an existing sharepoint or a microsoft list from one site and another site especially now uh, if you've created uh, a big in, big sharepoint list with a, a with a large enough uh, metadata data sets and you wanted to make a, a copy of that in a different uh, team site or a sharepoint site that's how you do it thanks for watching this is jack kakalapuri from the modern work group cheers